Grace and peace be with you. My name is Josh Robinson. I'm the senior pastor at Hope Presbyterian Church in Austin, Texas. Last year, we became a Matthew 25 church with a focus on congregational vitality, and we are working our way to adding in systemic, systemic poverty. As are most things in the Presbyterian Church, it started with an idea that was introduced at a Presbytery meeting, which was then given faithful and discerning attention by the elders of our session. We spent the better part of six months praying and reflecting on what this commitment would mean for our ministry within our community, and then to develop and launch a plan of action. Much of the vital congregation's work was at the session level to begin with, but in January of this year, we launched a multi-dimensional mission effort that looked outward through the lens of the six righteous acts Jesus defines in Matthew 25. And then we looked inward using the seven marks of a vital and relevant congregation. Each week, our worship and preaching were crafted to educate and empower our members, which then became the central focus of our Christian education offerings. We tied our outward focus with the season of Epiphany, asking the question, what gifts do you have to bring to offer Jesus the Christ? Each week during the season of Epiphany, the congregation was invited to participate in what we called a rapid response. For example, for, for give drink to the thirsty, we taught the congregation about the Presbyterian Giving Catalog, and we asked them to donate money to purchase jerry cans. For Visit the Imprisoned, we recommitted ourselves to our letter-writing ministry to those who are in prison. For the season of Lent, we focused our attention inward. Lent is a time for spiritual discernment, and so during Lent, we take a sincere look at the ways in which we have not lived into our Christian calling, we confess our shortcomings, and we recommit to a life of repentance. And so this year, we did this individually, but also as a congregation. We used the seven marks of a vital congregation as a tool for our own spiritual examination. We have been in search of a, of a diagnosis, so to speak, so that as the church, we may do what we need to do in order to be healthy. Now, some of these seven benchmarks have big wonky titles, but rather than having that be something that turned us away, we let those big wonky titles spark our curiosity and invite us to lean in and to wonder and to grow as a community of faith. We have adopted the six righteous acts as defined by Jesus in Matthew 25 to be our exclusive outreach focus for the next five years. We have been intentional about studying the realities and the hardships of life within our surrounding community and our city. And we have even begun engaging our elected officials for our area about systemic poverty and biblically unjust practices by our government. Over the last year, we have become less known as that cute little church on the corner with nice rose bushes and more known as that vital and relevant congregation of disciples who feed the hungry, give drink to the thirsty, welcomes the stranger, clothes the naked, cares for the sick, visits the imprisoned. The Matthew 25 initiative has been transformative in shaping the vision of our congregation and we are proud to join with you and with all those throughout our denomination as a Matthew 25 church.